Hi everyone, it's Jan from Jan Plants Things and welcome to my Plan With Me video for this week. I'm still in my LT1917 notebook and I'm continuing with my Humphrey adventures but this week it's a little bit different because Hermione is finally joining him. They're going to be flying in tandem in a little aeroplane. I've had to film this um, really quickly this week because it's Mother's Day and the weekend's kind of been super packed so um this one is probably one of my fastest spreads clocking in i think at 45 minutes so um what i did discover when i was like trying to draw faster was that um i just tend to paint in the lines a lot worse but um overall if you because you're zoomed out because of how far away i filmed it you guys can't see how bad it is um, until I show you the close-up later on but <laughs> overall though it's fine though because when you're doing in watercolor you don't really notice as much and it's kind of forgiving I also didn't let the paint um, dry as much as I should have so it kind of bleeds into each other but still again that's an effect that's really nice and I can um, I didn't realize that I could achieve it that much but I guess when you're in a rush you kind of learn new things anyway um, also, I am very aware that this plane design probably doesn't work. I mean, like the wings look like they could be flapping like a butterfree in Pokemon, but instead, yeah. But I did it because it looked cute. Um, but um, overall, I'm pretty uh, happy with how this turned out, um, regardless, because I got back afterwards. Oh, I'm recording this voiceover and I'm thinking, hey, this actually looks pretty good. Um, also, uh, I tried to have this effect at the front, which makes it look like that the helicopter, helicopter? Wrong. Propeller correct <laughs> is spinning at the front so instead of drawing the static propeller with the four blades or five blades um i have it uh like a kind of spinning um disc to kind of make it look like it's moving a little bit more i'm also including my little fishy antenna which um you probably don't need on a plane but i thought it would look kind of cute as well as um obviously my favorite stars as well I've this week a, uh, a little bit different from previous. I'm completely using microns instead of using the um, Pentel pocket brush pen. I mean, I love that thing and it's really great for drawing fur, but I was kind of sick of skipping pages all the time. And with the micron, I do get a little bit ghosting, but not so much um, bleeding, so it's not so bad. Actually, because I've had a lot of people ask, I've actually put in a little video on the right hand side of what the LT looks like when I've just got the microns and the watercolor on the back. You can see there is quite a bit of ghosting on the left, but I don't really notice it as much, but I don't, um, I don't really like bleeding, which is when the ink actually seeps through. Um, so when that happens, I find it very hard to ignore. Uh, but with the ghosting, after I write in it, I don't really notice as much. So, which is probably why I don't mind the LT as much because the paints pop so nicely on the page because of the way it's coated and how the paint sits on top. Um, so I'm going to start out by doing a technique that I've done um, in the past. A couple of weeks ago you might have noticed me doing it and uh, I find that I tend to do this when I'm trying to paint a little bit faster which is block shadows down first. So I'm using the Mission, um, the Mygello Mission Neutral Tint um, in varying opacities, uh, as in sorry, uh, varying intensities so the amount of um, water I'm putting in kind of dilutes the um, the pigment I've got the palette sitting on my left that's the Soray home palette um, that I had handmade for me I really really love it it's so it's so nice and easy to clean and basically um, I just I'm using that uh, to test and rotate colors out and uh, so when I want it darker I just dip the paint brush directly into the paint and then when I um, want it lighter I'm mixing it on the palette on the right hand side which is actually just the plate that I got from Muji I think and um, and I just dilute that with water I've been using a mixture of colors recently I mean in the past I've tried to use uh, the same uh, set of colors all the way through so you guys can follow along but nowadays I'm really really into pigment colors uh, mainly because I'm trying to learn the difference between um, each brand and how they deal with each pigment differently so I'm trying to list the pigment colors in the descriptions at the top as um, as I'm going through also because recently I've been trying to catalog all my colors just to see what I have and so that I stopped trying to collect every color under the sun like Pokemon and candy 
so I have a better understanding of um, the pigments that I already have on hand um, and that's kind of uh, that's kind of why I'm a little bit more open now to just mixing up the palettes that I'm using all at once and not just sticking to one single one although that being said the past couple of spreads I've basically been using a mixture of um, four or five colors which is a um, neutral tint which I'm using to darken all the colors a kind of gold um, the raw umber which is the brown and a um, and a blue so I'm using a phthalo blue this week and I based so that's actually only uh, four um, plus the Indian red which I'm using just to accent like the mouth and everything like that because it's not good to have a blue mouth um, so that's actually like a limited um, palette of five and that's not too bad because you can see that I can build quite a lovely um, a, a, you know like a lovely set of colors and drawings from it and you, the picture isn't found really wanting and um, every highlight that I'm doing is I'm just using metallic paints like the whole bean um, brilliant gold on a completely random note um, I'm trying to decide what to do going forward uh, with my illustrations and journals and I have mentioned in the past that I really want to look at doing um, a children's book but I'm realizing more and more that um, I might have signed myself up to too many obligations because I obviously I work full-time and everything like that as well so I'm thinking maybe I might have to um, lessen the amount of uh, spreads that I do maybe cutting it down to just the monthly setup uh, obviously I'll use my bullet journal every day but uh, just kind of giving myself more time to work on my illustrations and really really uh, pursue what I really want to do because I guess the bullet journal for me has kind of been like a a bridge to get to um, to get to practicing drawing again because I think if you looked at my um, spreads really really early on on my Instagram they're really really simple um, I couldn't I hadn't really painted in a very 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 long time uh, I had maybe like a, a kid student set of 12 colors at the time I didn't understand what chalky paint was or anything and over the past 18 months I think it's almost been two years now I've been really practicing and learning and drawing again where I can um, knock out like a cute little illustration like this in 45 minutes where in the past this probably would have taken me three to five hours of just sitting there just raising things and just um you know doing that type of thing so i i think i've finally gotten to a point where i'm kind of comfortable with my skills and that i want to try and do something a little bit more complex so um i think in order to do that and to give myself some time i might have to pare back with the videos a little bit as well as um i have had a lot of uh, I, things that i want to review to show you guys but I am limited to the one day that I have for filming and drawing everything. So um, I think by switching this up a bit, I'll be able to vary the content a little bit, as well as um, I'll, I'll try and go through while I'm practicing my illustrations, what I'm doing. So maybe give you snippets of what I'm working on. And if that's something that might interest you, because I've noticed a lot of you um, are here also because you want to learn how to watercolor. So maybe I can do a few more videos um, geared towards that as well. Because um, I guess the other thing is when you're painting in something like a LT notebook, your, uh, your technique has to be very, very different. And you would have seen when I'm painting in my Archer and Olive notebook, the technique there is even different because it, the water, the paint just doesn't sit like it does. So there is a little bit of a learning curve going back to um, to watercolor paper. So um, I think it'll be interesting. I, I'm quite um, keen to see how that will turn out. But I will complete my series of little Humphrey adventures and probably just do a monthly setup for June before um, taking a little bit more easy so I can have some time for some more personal projects as well. Um, I have really, really enjoyed um, everyone's um, enthusiasm um, for this month and uh, just in general the support that I've had and um, I hope that you guys will continue to support me as I um, continue to practice and try other things. I, I'm honestly so so grateful for finding the bullet journal system. The fact that it number one keeps me organized and number two also um, helps me practice what I really really want to do. 
Um, I, it's just been less a marked improvement of my just my general well-being and being able to be more organized and having a track of everything as well as just just being more confident in the skill that I've been practicing and working on. One of the things I do want to do though is to finally get together that um, video of my old faithfuls and um, just explain why I like using them so much because I think after all this time I have actually worked out which ones I do like using more and you'll find me using the same um, items over and over again. I think I have like a standing order on Bunbogu where I just hit reorder. <laughs> Um, and so I will, I will try and go through all of that with you guys, but I hope you enjoyed this spread. I'm really enjoying having Humphrey exploring my pages this month, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me create these, um, and I'm looking forward to chatting with you guys next week. Bye!